I honestly believe this is going to be the very last video you're ever going to need to see about using ChatGPT for federal proposal writing. I might be wrong, who knows where technology is going to go over the years, but you're about to see how GPT assistants are a vast improvement in using AI. You can customize now. So we're going to be going over the new thing called GPTs that became a thing somewhere around January of 2024. They use ChatGPT in configurable and customizable ways. I've already built about a dozen of them, probably more, and I'm blown away at how helpful they are and also just what they can do for you, especially if you're willing to make adjustments along the way and make, make them better and better. But here's some stuff you're going to need to know before you get started. You're going to need an OpenAI paid account. Sorry, only costs like 20 bucks, so it's not that bad. If you don't like it, stop after a month. This gives you access to faster and better AI language models. Uh, and that's great, but more importantly, it gives you access to creating these customizable GPT assistants. You can't do that without a paid account. Now let's dive in. Down below in the description, you're going to see a link and that link will take you to the prompt that I built specifically for this. So that's free. Go ahead and go get it, uh, enjoy it, change it, tweak it, make it better, make it usable for you. It's all yours. But yeah, it's down below, click that link and you'll have access to it. You're definitely gonna wanna customize it to your business and upload your proposal files and all that stuff. You're gonna see how to do that in a, in a minute. This prompt is going to actually save you a ton of time and prevent you from having to do all of this all by yourself, starting from scratch. So let's go into this whole process. We are going to build a custom GPT from scratch. We're going to configure it and actually run a test with a real life RFQ from sam.gov. And I'm gonna guide you through a go, no go analysis of that SAM opportunity uh, using a fictitious company that I created just for this purpose. I'm gonna move really, really fast through the whole process. I don't wanna make a really long in-depth video here. And if you have questions, just drop them in the comments. But like I said, this GPT is going to basically be something where you can copy text from a SAM RFQ, drop it into the GPT. It will look through all of the details and organize it for you. It'll give you a zero to 10 uh, ranking of if you should pursue that opportunity. Uh, it's now this process will make it so that that's a two or three minute ordeal instead of a half a day ordeal. I hope you enjoy, I hope it helps. All right, so we are gonna be going over how to create your own GPT assistant uh, using ChatGPT from OpenAI. Now, to begin with, um, we are going to just go into preparing the assistant. Then we're gonna come over to the prompt that I built. This is going to be available to you. Look into the description, it's down there. Click that link. Any questions, any uh, confusion that comes up, please, please drop it in the comments and I will get a day or so. Let's start this off and go over to ChatGPT. So get that paid account and then come here. Now you're gonna to go to explore GPTs. Of course, there are a bunch to choose from and yeah, look in here, you, you might find something cool. But if you wanna make one, you hit create and it goes to this configure page. Now I like to go to the create and talk to it for a minute just to give it kind of a, a title and even a um, little icon for the configure. I like to just write my own instructions and my own conversation starters, but you can use this create page and talk to it over and over, you know, for a really long time and configure it just perfectly. If you want to go that route, um, as you do it more and more, I think you're going to want to come over to the configure page and, you know, kind of at a certain point, the create breaks down and the, what, what it generates in the instructions, you'll want to kind of manually tweak that to, to kind of perfect it. Um, I also don't love the conversation starters that it generates. So I usually delete those all and do my own. So yeah, let's go actually here. I created my own GPT. So I'm going to go to that. It's called proposal guide. I used this actual prompt that I created here. I'm not going to go much further here and use chat GPT and stuff just to keep this brief prompt for this, uh, GPT assistant is uh, basically tells it you act as a professional federal proposal writer. Um, it does a go no go evaluation uh, based on past RFQs, past proposals that you upload, company information, stuff like that. Kind of, you know, you, you drop in details about the opportunity from Sam or wherever you got it. And it tells you it's a good match for you. It gives you a one to 10 rating and uh, you can kind of go from there. 
It also does some past performance matching, so you can upload proposals that are, you know, what, what you could kind of consider your, your mini library. Really good proposals, maybe the ones that you've won, maybe the ones that you've, uh, if you haven't prepared 18, then just keep on loading them up as you, as you go through them. And uh, that'll really help this process. Um, and then it does an evaluation here. So if it's a good match, I'd say six or seven out of 10 or above, um, then that's a really good sign. And it's going to pull all of the data from, from the information you upload the best that it can. So these are all just variables uh, that are important to know when you are pursuing an RFQ. Um, the biggest thing is, you know, that initial go, no go. So is it a good scope match? That's pretty well determined here. If it is worth pursuing, you'll, you'll really want to look across these details. So let's take a look at how this works. I created a template called a company info sheet, and it's a very important template because it brings in information about your company. Here's the basic template here. And then here's one I just created for a fictitious company, uh, Lion Hunter and Sons. They're in facilities maintenance. Here's what they do, competitive advantages, geographic coverage, SBA certifications, security clearance, insurance coverage, some certifications, the maximum project size. You don't want to bid for a $10 billion project if you're a small business that's only two years old. Here's what it looked like when I ran it. So I found a project. This is from Sam.gov. Uh, it's like a good match. They do grounds maintenance. My fictitious company does grounds maintenance. So and you can see here a lot of the times in this section, they're going to give you a very kind of brief rundown of what this uh, opportunity entails. That didn't go into it a ton, but it has a lot of the really important details that are needed about the project. Um, and then under attachments and links, if this is a good match, it passes your go, no go. Um, then these links, you know, that's where you'll find the RFQ and all the supplemental documents. And that's when you really do get started. Let's see what happened when I copy and pasted this into that GPT. I didn't even give it a prompt. The prompt is already built in for this GPT assistant. It already knows what to do. It takes the information that I copied and pasted. That's what this all is. And I took the whole thing, everything on the page for the most part. And I, and it started with this go, no go evaluation. Cool. All right. Scope match was an eight out of 10. It says why it's an eight out of 10. Here are some past performances that were uploaded proposals um, that are just dummy ones that I created that these are the top three. Other than that, there here is that big list of details that were pulled. So we can see that who the agency is, the RFQ number, the due date, uh, point of contact. So this prepares a very quick rundown for you to see kind of like what this project's all about. This is not a replacement for, you know, human eyes and a human brain going through a project and making a decision. And I think it, it gives you a really nice runway into the proposal writing process as well. And you can start to build into the prompt uh, proposal writing aspects, or if it makes more sense for you, you can start fresh and create a new GPT. And when it passes the go, no go, you move the details over into the new GPT and uh, use that and build out a process to actually write the proposal with AI uh, to save yourself some time and maybe get some ideas that are a little bit more creative um, than working alone. All right, now we're done. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe. Please feel free to take that free prompt down below. It also includes the company info sheet template that I created that you saw there a minute ago. And if you have any comments, put them down below. I'm here to help. Thanks so much.